second try Open up your heart as well as your eyes Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family Welcome, welcome, welcome to this mental house with me, your host, Khadija First of all, let me commend I, uh, uh, Kiki Palmer, as most of y'all know, domestic violence is something that's very close to my family. Um, I lost a sister to domestic violence, as did um, a few of y'all on here, a few content creators as well. Um, and they've been very vocal about the experiences that the family goes through when their loved one has been either deleted by an abuser or uh, is in a relationship with a nutcase. And for Kiki, first of all, I want to let you know you, you're not the first, and I wish you could be the last, but unfortunately that's not going to be the case. But I commend you, soldier, for walking away from that madness, for getting away. And I know it ain't easy, and it still ain't over. Because you still in it. And the sad part about this situation is this is the kind of dude that want to bring somebody down with him. I bet you when he started talking to you, he was telling everybody, oh, I'm talking to Kiki Palmer. Yeah, I'm talking. Yeah, this. Okay. And at the end, you see how a narcissistic, controlling, insane that he turned out to be. You don't marry. You don't go with a person's fineness. I, I wish we could really, really uh, take a lesson from this. I don't care how cute you are. I don't care how well you dress. If you are a nutcase, it's going to come out. If it don't come out in the wash, it's going to come out in the rinse. The fact that this guy has been beating her up for a while. And the fact that he would jump on her when she was pregnant, it just lets me know how, you know, I always say when white people got a cold, black people got pneumonia. So if you want to meet some of the most insecure, disrespectful creatures on the planet Earth, then you, um, I'm at the risk of not sounding like Cynthia G., you're looking at the black man who's been beat down by everybody in society. And the only time he has power is when he beats on his woman. That's how he shows his alpha, his, his prowess. When in reality, most of us know that you just a fuck boy. Okay. The fact that you would jump on her like the way you did. And that I, that picture that says, Leo, I'll see you soon, was the, the for lets me further know just how much a bitch he is. Okay? And that the only fight you probably win is with women. That's, that's a given. Okay? Anybody worth a grain of salt wouldn't dare do a woman like that and especially the mother of their child either he had an ulterior motive when he met you kitty kiki knowing that you don't travel in the world that most losers do you've been working all your life keeping your mind focused on that so you probably didn't get a hold to somebody this just seems to be your first serious relationship and I don't really know what your reputation is out here on these streets. But I do know he seems like someone who had an ulterior motive of changing your reality. Okay? Probably purposely put a baby up in you so he could have some kind of control over you. Okay? They weak out here. The sad part about it is, I, I, you know, I, I really wouldn't encourage Somebody said they all, I'm all for black love. I'm all, I'm not. I'm all for black therapy. 
I'm all I'm all for let me see where it's psychologically and that don't always um uh prove nothing, but it lets me further know just how conscious you are about changing your condition and changing your mindset because you didn't fall from heaven, you like hell from the rest of us, and you should be trying to navigate through this maze, especially if you're a black person. But if you're a black person that like to beat ass and intimidate, more than likely they don't go to other men, they go to women. That's why I love it when a woman surprises them. They be like, you got the wrong one. Or come with your brothers like a tribe. I know I did. Well, that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. We're talking about Kiki Farmer now. And I don't know if you got brothers. I don't know if you got a bunch of cousins. And But the first thing he would stop doing would uh, not send me these subliminal messages through pictures and try to live vicariously through me. You are over, you coward. And that's exactly what his mantra should be from this point on. For the brother, because I believe Kiki Mama. Kiki Mama, you know, she a seasoned sister. There ain't no way in the world she going to sit up here and waste her time and lie on this dude. Because they all, one thing about domestic violence, it's, it's embarrassing. So a lot of people don't want to tell. See, which shouldn't really come into play. But a lot of people don't want to tell that they're getting their ass beat by some dude. And then so when you're going out, you're trying to protect this person or her. Because it only just happened to women. It happens to men. I'm well aware of that. I'm well aware. I know a woman that I had to tell, say to her, you're hitting on him? You're punching on him because he left. And she, she, oh, he left me, blah, 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 blah. And once I got into the conversation about it, when I found out that she was abusive towards him, I said, I see why he gone. Because he don't got no business putting his hands on you, but you certainly don't have no business putting your hands on him, slapping him and hitting him upside the head. What the hell? Because when he turned around and turned into a pit bull, then you're going to be the chihuahua getting bit in half. And then everybody's going to look at him like he was the uh, the, vic the uh, culprit. When it's probably been months and months and months and months of abuse that they just can't take no more. Okay? And that's what happened in Kiki, Kiki's uh, situation. She couldn't take no more. Now, I've been hearing on these YouTube streets that... He is putting a restraining order out on her. Why, I don't know. Maybe you haven't seen the pictures that they got about you beating her and throwing her over, um, you know, couches and stuff. But I don't know a judge alive unless it's somebody that like to watch women get beat up and babies get um, damaged that would allow you to have unsupervised visits. Because you a nutcase. And that may not always work because, see, people like you pull it, pull crazy shit. And that's why it's so important, my dear hearts, for y'all to get involved with somebody that, in, that, that, you know, don't have a lot of baggage. But at the same time, somebody that's working on their mental health. Don't marry nobody or go with somebody's fineness, somebody's cuteness. Because that's going to get you in trouble every damn time. I'm not saying every situation going to end up like Kiki's. But I'm saying that's going to get you in trouble every damn time. Trying to marry somebody or be with somebody because they cute. Or because they fine. Or whatever words y'all use today. Vile and disgusting behavior. Seems to be the law of the land today. And you got to watch out. Whenever your eyes are tracking, you meet somebody. It's not like it was 20 years ago. The people from 20 years ago and 30 years ago damaged y'all. Because that was the coke ep epidemic. Okay? And in my opinion, a lot of these, if they're not drug babies, they from a 
uh, environment where um, the standards start getting lower and lower and lower. Um, being able to work for a living and be proud of your accomplishments, those are days of old. Now people want to latch on to you and get what you got. Take a free ride and the easy way home. And you have to watch out for these these uh, suckers. Because that's exactly what they are. they suckers. And they'll suck the life out of you. They'll rape your children. If you got them, if you bring them home and you haven't vetted them well, they'll be in there raping your daughter and then having sex with you too. See, I know. Been there, done that, had them cases. Don't You can't fool me about that type of stuff. And it don't surprise me, nor does it shock me. Be careful who you bring home. Be careful. I know everybody wants somebody to love. Don't you want somebody to love? Because we all need somebody to love. If you don't, then learn how to love yourself. Because that's the greatest. That's the greatest love. And these boneheads, like this guy right here, just sit back and let the universe do what it does to people like him. All right, I'm done with it. Like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share the channel. And Kiki, we wish you well. You know we love you, and you know you got the community got your back. They watched you grow up. Hey, you feel like part of it. We, we feel you a part of the family. So with that being said, my blessings uh, to you. And I hope you um, don't take uh, too much from this. I hope you learn from this. And I wish you and your baby peace beyond passion. I'll see you in the next video.